so far we've computed the uh, consumption and uh, savings by heterogeneous households in our heterogeneous agent matching model. Um, so now I think what would be helpful is to look at the properties of um, the behavior of households in that heterogeneous agent matching model. So how does um, consumption, saving, visits, uh, purchases depend on uh, you know, endowment of wealth and capacity, uh, as well as um, the market tightness. So you'll remember that uh, what we had derived is that um, for household I, we have the following result. So we had, we had showed that uh, purchases of services um, were given by YI. Oops. And that was equal to um, sigma x times uh, the income of household i, which is f of x, ki plus the endowment of real wealth, which is mu i over p, and uh, where sigma x was um, a number between 0 and 1. And in fact, we had said that it was given by key the utility parameter epsilon, the other utility parameter, 1 plus tau x, 1 minus epsilon, divided by 1 plus key epsilon, 1 plus tau x, 1 minus epsilon. Um, so that uh, sigma x is always between 0 and 1. Um, so that's what we had established. Um, so um, I guess what's, uh, what we can see immediately is what's the impact of the endowment of real wealth and uh, you know, endowment of, so which is mu i, and endowment of productive capacity ki. Uh, which, as we had discussed, you know, captures all kind of things like experience, um, human capital, um, kind of networks, um, skills, um, taste, you know, for uh, work. All these type of things are captured by KI. Um, so we can immediately immediately see like what's the impact of that. Um, so. And also, you'll remember, so before we do that, so we have seen that uh, yi was given by this expression, that the purchase of services. Um, then we had said that, of course, uh, you know, real wealth at the end of the period so real wealth holdings which is here, you know, the same as savings. Um, so that's just m i over p. And um, we know that it's just going to be 1 minus sigma x times the same thing, f of x ki plus mu i over p. And then, uh, then from that, we know also what is um, consumption. And this is ci is just yi divided by 1 plus tau x. So taking into account the matching wedge. And then we had seen also what visits were. So visits are just going to be vi is yi divided by qx. Um, so people just do a visit to ensure that they can purchase yi. So um, from all of this, we can learn uh, a number of things. Uh, so we can see that a household with more initial wealth, which is mu i, what's going to happen to that household? So 
the field also high with more initial wells, but what we can see immediately so they have a number of results that we can get here. Um, but if we go back, what we can see, you know, if you have a higher MUI, you will have a higher purchase of services, YI. Um, at the end of the day, of course, because one minus sigma x, so here, you know, this is also going to be between zero and one because sigma x is between zero and one. Uh, so we can see that uh, you will have more real wealth at the end of the day. You will also have more consumption CI because y is higher and you do more visit. So if you have higher real wealth, uh, you will have more consumption. This is CI. You will have more purchases or expenditure, which is Y high. Of course, then you will have to do more visits, which is VI. And despite the fact that you have more uh, purchases, uh, expenditure, so of course this is on services, you will also, household I with more initial wealth will also end up with more um, uh, more final real wealth or more final savings, which is MI, you know, in real term over P. Um, so people who start uh, household who start wealthier will end up consuming more, um, you know, spending more, shopping more. And uh, they'll also end up at the end of the day wealthier. Okay. Uh, notice that. So here, this is what happens when you have a higher MUI. You notice that if instead of MUI you increase KI, which is the um, productive capacity of the household, or you know, given that the income of the household is f of x k, it's basically a household with higher income. Everything is going to be exactly the same. If you increase k i, um, you'll get exactly the same results. That you'll have a higher purchases, higher uh, final real wealth, consumption, and visits. So um, that's a good result. So you'll have the same results. for household high with higher income. With higher income. Uh, so that's higher KI. So whether you have higher initial wealth or higher income, uh, you know, um, compared to another household with either less wealth or less income, the same will happen. Um, so all these things are going to uh, to be affected. Um, so people who, you know, start with higher initial wealth or have higher income, they'll end up with more real wealth at the end of the day, you know, more savings, but also more consumption.